Good evening, everyone. My name is McKenna Keneally, and I'm a senior, and I'll be the student moderator for our I Am Notre Dame panel. During this presentation, you will hear some pretty impressive students talk about their Notre Dame experience. First up, we have Nina Wall for I Am Becoming Notre Dame. Good evening, parents, students, and faculty and staff. You may have seen me walking in the hallways, inside the gym playing volleyball, or maybe even as a shadow host for you eighth graders. But if you haven't, hello and nice to meet you. My name is Nina Wall and I'm a freshman. Prior to Notre Dame, I went to St. Matthew's Catholic School in San Mateo. I'm so happy I'm able to speak tonight on the wonderful things Notre Dame has offered to me so far. I will be focusing on the phrase, I am becoming Notre Dame. I will go over why I chose Notre Dame, my transition to high school, and my experience in the becoming Notre Dame class that I'm currently taking. Number one, why I chose NDB. I wanted to pursue my athletic career and join the volleyball team and the track team. I was also drawn to the many opportunities Notre Dame had to offer, including clubs, academics, and the variety of classes. Then, I further realized that Notre Dame has so much to offer to students, and that can help further their both athletic and academic careers throughout Notre Dame. Number two, my experience and transition into Notre Dame. Transitioning from middle school to high school was very easy because I had support from the school community. Whether it was having trouble finding classes in the hallways or trying to contact a teacher, the upperclassmen and other teachers were always willing to help. Transitioning into Notre Dame was also breeze because of volleyball tryouts. They were a three-day process held before the start of the school year. I met so many new people at tryouts and also became very good friends with everyone on my team and created a very close bond. Another way to ease the transition into high school is the Becoming Notre Dame class, which is a mandatory class for freshmen first semester. It is intended to ease the transition into Notre Dame and we study different units, which I will mention in a minute. Number three, Becoming Notre Dame class units. Unit one, beginning the NDB journey. This unit was all about the overview, the overview of our class and what to look forward to in the upcoming months and years at Notre Dame, including using our digital portfolio and our capstone project. Unit two, transformational leadership. This unit teaches us how to use our voices, stand up for what's right, and involve ourselves in leadership opportunities. For example, I ran for student council and, run as our, and won as our class historian. Unit three, community health and wellness. This unit did a great job of acknowledging how we had to take part in this community and do our job to keep the health and wellness of others safe, like wearing your mask, following the rules, and respecting others' privacy. And lastly, unit number four, mind, body, and soul connections. This unit went over how we, how we as young teenagers should take time to rest our minds, as well as connect our mind, body, and soul within one. And it also taught us to give ourselves mindful breaks when needed during the school year. Overall, my experience at Notre Dame so far has been truly amazing. I've met so many new people and I've also grown in my becoming Notre Dame class. I hope you all have a great rest of your night and thank you for listening. Thank you, Nina. Next we have Olivia Semyon for I Am A Leader. Good evening, everyone. My name is Olivia Simeon, and I'm a senior here at Notre Dame. I went to a small independent school called Keys Middle School before coming to Notre Dame my freshman year. I'm a member of the ambassador board in which I work directly with admissions directors like Mrs. Anderson and have been a captain of our water polo team here at Notre Dame. Coming into NDB, I never had any intention of joining any leadership positions. At my middle school, we had student government and club leaders, but I always thought I wouldn't be good as a leader and never tried it. I was worried, probably like most of you, that in high school I would be too busy to do anything other than sports in school, not realizing how many opportunities Notre Dame has to offer. Every leadership position at the school is filled by a girl, so all of our associate student body members, club presidents, team captains, people in leadership boards are all girls and we all empower each other to try new things and to take those steps to become a leader. My freshman year, I joined the water polo team in the fall. The first day of tryouts, I became close with almost all of the upperclassmen. I felt so cool walking around the halls as upperclassmen would say hi to me, a freshman. Almost immediately, they took me under their wings and helped me settle into high school. They showed me the ropes of Notre Dame. All of them were either on leadership boards, captains of sports teams, or part of student government, and some even had multiple leadership roles at Notre Dame. 
and they showed me that I could do the same thing here. After hearing about their experiences and how they were able to become strong leaders, I knew I wanted to take those opportunities as well. I had my first leadership role my sophomore year as I was voted team captain of the JV water polo team by my teammates. One of my closest friends, who was a senior at the time, was a captain of the varsity water polo team and showed me how to lead the team. I quickly became comfortable leading conversations with teammates about game strategy, practices. I coordinated team bonding events, planned a team sleepover, and represented my school at games. After being captain of the water polo team, I felt like I could take on any leadership opportunity that Notre Dame had to offer. I had gained newfound confidence in myself and in my ability to lead, and at the end of my sophomore year, the friend I mentioned earlier, who was captain of the varsity team, recommended that I be on the ambassador board, which she was the current president of. She knew I was outgoing, talkative, and that I would be a good addition. This board was an opportunity to get more involved at my school, connect with prospective families, and build my skills even more. I have not only been able to help at events that helped me choose Notre Dame in eighth grade, like Shadow Day and Open House, but I was able to think of and plan new ways to give Shadow the Notre Dame experience, even during distance learning last year. Being able to go to Notre Dame, I've been able to gain leadership skills that I would never have gotten it if I was at a large co-ed school. Throughout my four years here, I've been surrounded by other strong leaders who have paved the way for me and my peers to follow in their footsteps. When I graduate, which I cannot believe is this year, I know that I will go off to college and begin my career, prepare to work alongside my peers, professors, and coworkers because of my experience in Notre Dame leadership. Being able to hold different leadership positions at Notre Dame has helped me discover who I am, how I can contribute to this world, and has greatly prepared me for my future. Through the many other leadership opportunities at Notre Dame, such as athletics, clubs, academics, or student government, Notre Dame is a perfect place for you to grow into a leader as well. Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. Next, we have Ellie Rao for I Am An Athlete. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ellie Rao, and I am a senior at Notre Dame. I'm a three-sport athlete, and by the end of this year, I will have competed in 11 seasons of sport. I compete in soccer, cross-country, and track and field, and it has been a great journey. I have had the privilege to meet some amazing girls, and whom I have met my freshman year, and have stayed close with ever since. Sports are a phenomenal way to meet people, especially as a freshman. You create lasting friendships, and over time, the, the teams become extremely close. Every season, every practice, every game and meet is a chance for you to bond with your teammates. Our coaches help us bond as well. They are extremely experienced, and they have competed and coached sports for many years. Coaches are in tune with their athletes and support us through hard conditioning, defeat, and areas that we want to improve personally. I attribute a lot of my athletic success to our amazing strength and conditioning coach, Coach Kate, and our athletic trainer, Coach Christina. They help us become stronger, prevent injury, and enhance our performance. They teach us about good nutrition, hydration, and how to take care of our bodies while we push them every day. The athletic community is a very special one, and it is very close to my heart. It is filled with team spirit and camaraderie because when you put on the Notre Dame uniform, you truly become Notre Dame. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Next, we have Allie Lewis for I Am A Scholar. Hi, everyone. I'm Allie Lewis. I'm a senior here at Notre Dame, and I'm here to talk about how I'm a scholar in academics at the school. My freshman year, I took four honors classes. I was nervous to be in classes with so many people I did not know, but immediately my teachers and peers were very accepting. I easily became comfortable sharing and speaking in class. I felt encouraged and empowered in each subject. I also felt confident in my advanced classes, which allowed me to continue on the honors path. Notre Dame has made me feel empowered and all of the support from my teachers allowed me to handle a rigorous workload. I was never given more than I could handle. Each semester I talked to my counselor before 
each year to make sure I was prepared for the classes I was taking and was going to be taking the following year. I'm able to balance student council, sports, and clubs with my coursework without being overwhelmed. All of the different activities Notre Dame provides allows us to do so much while the school is there to support us and help us handle it all. I have taken both AP honors and college prep classes here at Notre Dame, so I know the difference between them all. In my honors and AP classes, I've had to work for my grade and stay on top of all of my work. I've taken advantage of extra credit opportunities and teacher office hours to maintain my grades. Within my AP classes, a lot of material is covered, but it's taught in a way that is geared towards the students and puts our education above all else. I'm prepared for AP tests without focusing solely on the exam, but my understanding. I have grown a lot more than just through my education here at Notre Dame. I have gained so many skills through the classroom. Leadership skills, public speaking skills, collaboration, communication. I have become proactive for my education. Talking to teachers about my grades and assignments, knowing they will actually listen to me and be there to help. Math has always been my favorite subject. It's organized, structured, and it's always been beneficial to my learning. I've always felt very involved and the class has expanded be beyond just taking notes. I've always said that English was my least favorite subject, but here at Notre Dame, it's been some of my favorite classes. This is due to the amazing English department we have and all of the books they choose for us to read. Some of my favorite books have been Just Mercy, Ender's Game, and currently in my AP Literature class, we're reading Othello, which I'm so excited to finish. Growing up, er, I've grown so much in my writing ability, which has benefited me tremendously now that I'm working on my college applications. Now that I'm a senior and applying to college, I notice how much I am a scholar because of Notre Dame. Thank you. Thank you, Allie. Next, we have Maggie Templeton for I Am An Artist. Hi, my name is Maggie Templeton, and I am a freshman here at Notre Dame this year. I've always enjoyed art, so that meant this summer I had a big decision to make regarding my elective and whether I would be taking art or sculpture. Because I wanted to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, I chose sculpture, and it has been the best decision. Ms. Kintz is an amazing teacher who has already taught me so much about the importance of creativity and thinking outside the box. My class is going to be working with many mediums this year, but we have just been finishing up our clay unit, more specifically, our clay luggage project. This project is meant to symbolize what we want to carry with us in our lives. And I have mine here as an example. The first thing I filled it with was this tree, and I tried to make the roots as visible as possible to represent the people I know now, the places I've already been, and the attachments I've already made. The tree was meant to symbolize support, both the support that I need going forward and making my own path, but also the support I can give others in my community. And then, as a personal touch, I added butterflies on the trunk and limbs to represent a personal and important memory to me. But what's been really interesting is that everybody in my class's pieces are different and unique because we are all different and unique and have different personalities that have affected our concept. Though this project is very interesting on its own, it also comes with an amazing opportunity. Ms. Coons has arranged for the photography students at Notre Dame to come in and take some amazing photos of our artwork. These photos will be displayed in the San Francisco airport from July to October and this opportunity has really incentivized my class to put out the best work possible. Because I've already fallen in love with sculpture, I will be continuing with Notre Dame art classes in the next three years. Notre Dame makes this very easy by offering sculpture all the way up through Sculpture 3 Honors and art all the way up through AP Studio Art. Lastly, I want to mention that you don't have to be good at art or experienced to truly find a place in a Notre Dame art class because at heart, they're a place to explore creativity and step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie. Finally, we have Emma Boyd for I Am Notre Dame. Hi, everyone. My name is Emma Boyd, and I'm a senior here at Notre Dame. And I will be talking about why I am Notre Dame. When applying to high school, I knew that I wanted a school that would let me grow in my interests and as a person. I will admit that I had a little bit of a bias considering my mom, aunt, and all of my cousins went to Notre Dame. 
But nevertheless, the moment I stepped foot on campus, I knew that this school was for me. I chatted at other private and public schools in the area, but none felt like a fit. None of them felt like Notre Dame. My first day of high school really helped me realize that I had made the right choice. On my first day, I remember being greeted by a senior, still friend to this day, an associate student body officer, also known as, also known as ASB, Chrissy Smoot, in the dining room, where she told me to hug my mom goodbye, blow my mom a kiss, and walked me off into my first class. The Notre Dame community has been such an amazing community to be a part of, as we aren't just classmates or peers, but we are sisters. We support each other, and we are there for everyone. These people have become my lifelong sisters, my lifelong friends, and we will always be there for each other. And, of course, we try to have as much, as much fun as possible. Along with the sisterhood, the teachers, faculty, and staff members are here to support each and every student, and they want to see them succeed. The teachers don't just teach because they have to, but they teach because they want to, and they want to see the students grow and become confident young women in the world. If a student has a problem, there's always a teacher, faculty, or staff member who is more than willing to lend a helping hand. Through the Notre Dame community, I have been able to find my passions and interests, as well as gain leadership opportunities. Without Notre Dame and the opportunity to participate in the mock trial club here, I would have never been able to find my passion in law and discover that this is the career that I want to pursue. I am Notre Dame because I am a part of a unique, diverse, and loving community filled with students and staff who support and encourage each other and their sisters to follow their dreams, beliefs, and to live and to live their life to the fullest. Attending Notre Dame has provided me with so many opportunities to grow personally and professionally, professionally, helping me feel ready and prepared for college and beyond. Thank you, and I hope to see you all wearing blue and gold next year.